All right, Katya, let's get right into your review. So, um, um, it looks good. It looks really good. Uh, some consistency issues. No big deal. I think it was just from our initial contour that you did. Um, the things got lost. So, I'm going to redo this one. Um, and I'll draw it right next to yours. Just so we can see them next to each other. Okay. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to start with my gesture. Um, also, like I said, I, I'd really like to see um, your reference photos, if at all possible. So, um, but yeah, just let me know if you're drawing from life. Um, that's totally cool. That's what I want to see. Then obviously you wouldn't be able to give me reference photos so anyway so head cervical thoracic lumbar big stretch small pinch Weight bearing leg. Supporting leg. Tilt of the shoulder. Shoulder. Elbow, hand, and then hand. All right, quick tilt, wrapping lines. So, um, what I'm noticing, let me look at your other ones. Yeah, I want to see the perspective boxes. I like that we're doing this with the rib cage, and I know that's what Ron said in the video. Um, but to me, that's it's uh, not enough information, right? So, and I'll show you what I mean um, when I get there. So, here's me blocking out the rib cage, um, and right now it's just about the shape, the overall shape, just to get my masses going. So, rib cage pelvis right also I don't want to get too far from these um, the ribcage and the pelvis we have about three to five inches right so we don't want to split too much of a difference there so from here I'll drop in my tilts and just to drive it home so big tilt for the shoulders and then here's my tilt for the pelvis So uh, once I have that in, I can think about my connection. So now I'm going to bridge the gap between all of my shapes, right? And I'm going to use that with C-curve. So again, I know Ron does this earlier, right? I just, um, and that's fine. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, for me, I just like using, doing that a little bit later, right? So that way, it keeps, A, it keeps me looser um, with my gesture, and then B, I'm using anatomy, right, to justify these shapes. So another S curve over the shoulder and then C curve here um, from here I'm going to my landmarks so watch that your clavicles are way too far away from each other all right so landmark out diagonal and then back all right to the top of the shoulder this arm is raised so we have a little bit more foreshortening here. So sternum, right, and that's something that we're definitely missing and we need, right, is your sternum. So the sternum is about, including the manubrium, about the height of the head, if not, it's like three quarters. Um, on a female, 
the opening of the thoracic arch is more like 60 degrees. Alright, one, two. So I'm going to go shorter here. And when I do this, I don't wrap all the way around. I just stop using the 10th rib. Um, iliac crest. One, two. Greater trochanter, knee. So let's talk about the knee really quick. Um, that knee that you have drawn, and I don't know that that's, I don't want to say that that's what Ron showed you. Maybe it is. Uh, it just doesn't work, right? Because it's a pizza box on top of a pizza box, right? So what we're doing now is we're faking it because we're bending. Um, really, what we should use is a cylinder here. the femur and then a pizza box um, actually you know what I'm changing my changing that changing that um, again so cylinder for the bottom of the femur and then pizza box for the tibia So that way it just rolls. It makes much more sense. So, and then patella on top. Easy, right? So now that this is again why I, I'm so adamant about using uh, the perspective boxes uh, because this gives us a definitive front and side plane. Like this shape that we have here, this is ambiguous, right? There's, it's just, it's cylindrical. So for me to determine, like I might say, where's the break between the, the front and the side? you know, and that could, it's too arbitrary, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm, I, I follow the, the coastal cartilage and as soon as it starts going back to the side plane, I'm, just, I'm done. So all I need is just to connect these two, all right? And then I come up, connect under the pit of the neck. So this box that we create is just for the pelvis, right? And especially since she's arching her back so hard like that, we should most definitely be seeing underplane under the pelvis. So now, and I'll explain this um, at the Q and A, uh, why we need this so desperately. Uh, we have a very definitive front and side plane, an underplane pelvis, following the pinch of the external obliques. Some stuff just to watch out for, um, and I think we'll be in a good spot.